The Spider, the Hare and the Moon The moon felt very sad. She knew that people on earth were afraid of the dark and she wanted to let them know that it was nothing to be scared of. She had no way of speaking to them herself. So she called on her friend, the spider. Please take a message to everyone on earth, she said to him. Tell them that the world will always be in darkness at night, but there is no need to be afraid. I will be here to light their way. The spider started to climb down the moonbeams to get back down to earth. On the way, he bumped into the hare. Where are you going? the hare asked. The moon has asked me to give an important message to all the people on earth, the spider explained. Oh, you're so slow. It will take you much too long to get there, the hare said. Let me take the message. I'm much faster than you. I'm sure if the moon said it was important, she would want the people to hear it as quickly as possible. Tell me what message is and I will give it to everyone on earth. Well, I suppose the moon would want the people to hear her message as quickly as possible. The spider agreed. Tell them the moon said that the world will always be in darkness. Right, said the hare. Tell the people on earth that the world will always be in darkness. And before the spider could finish, the hare had bounded off. Wait, wait, the spider shouted after him. I haven't finished. But the hare had already disappeared. The spider decided to go back and tell the moon what had happened. Otherwise, she would wonder why the people on earth were still scared. Meanwhile, on earth, the hare was busy telling all people that the world would always be in darkness. And once he had delivered the message, he proudly went back to the moon to let her know what he had done. Of course, the moon was furious with the hare. So furious, in fact, that she sent him away and wouldn't ever speak to him again. And the spider, the busy little spider, is still trying to carry the moon's message to all the people on earth as he spins his webs in the corners of our rooms.